Hey guys, this is Lawrence from buildmyecommerce.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to change your default layout in OpenCart to something very close to this using a theme called Journal. Before we get started, let's take a look at the table of contents for this video. If you are watching this from YouTube, you can look below this video and I have the timestamps they can click and skip ahead to the sections that you're interested in watching. You can push the pause button for a minute or two to look through the table of contents and when you're ready just push play again. In this first part of the video I'll be doing the fresh installation of the theme. Now I'm assuming that you have the OpenCart and VQ mod already installed. If you don't know how to do those two things you can check out my other two videos on how to do just that. Now here I have the theme already downloaded. To start we have to unpackage the zip file. Let's double click on the file to unzip the package. And inside the folder we want to upload the journal 2.1.2 right here. Now if you double click on that folder uh, we want to highlight Select and highlight uh, the five folders you see in here. Right click on it and compress five items. Uh, if you're using Windows, you should have something similar to that. Uh, let's just rename this journal 2 1 2. And then I'm just going to move this to my desktop. Okay. So next is I'm going to log into my C panel where I'm hosting the website and go to the uh, file manager. Uh, go to the folder where you install the open cart and once you're there click upload choose file and then go and select that zip file we just uh, renamed click open and you will see the uh, status bar on your lower right. Okay, it's complete. Press back. And we want to select that zip package and then so select the uh, extract here at the top. Click extract files. Click close. This completes the installation of the theme. Now let's log in to the back end and activate the theme. Uh, once you have logged into the back end, go to System, Settings, click Edit right here, and then you want to click the Store tab, and then next to Template where it says Default, change that to Journal 2, and then click Save. Now let's go to extensions, modules, and then you have the journal tool right here now. Um, let's click uh, install, and now if you click the storefront at the top right here, you can see the theme activated. Obviously uh, we have more work to do, so let's do that. Next is the image size adjustments. To do that, let's go ahead and open up the document that came with the, the zip file. If you go inside the journal folder in here and then there's a readme.txt file, double click on that and it has the link to the documentation. I have that open right here and if you go to start here on the left and click image dimensions they have these the recommended values that they want you to put in. So to do that let's go to the back end Go to System, Settings, click Edit again, and then we want to go to the Image tab. And this is where you enter those values right here. Um, I'm just going to pause the video for a couple of minutes and enter uh, these values right here so you guys don't get bored of me. Okay, so I have entered all those values, so let's go to the next step. Now we're going to set up the menu system. If you look at our front end of our store, 
can see that there is no menus at the top as we saw it, uh, from the default layout of the open car. We're missing all these desktops, laptops, etc. To bring those back, we have to go back to the uh, back end and click on this journal 2 right here at the top. And then click menus, top menus, and click reset. And then click save. Go to menus again, click on the secondary menu, click reset, click save, and then go to menus again, click on the uh, main menu, click reset, and then click save. Next is to click on this footer, go to menu, and hit reset, click save. Let's now activate the Journal 2 skin. Uh, to do that, go to Settings on the left here. Click on that. And you, you see right here it's where it says Active Skin. It says Journal 1. Let's change that to Journal 2. Because that's what we want for this video. And click Save. Now we're going to uninstall a couple of the OpenCart modules because we'll be doing those things inside the journal 2 module right in here with much more control so let's go to extensions modules and let's uninstall the banner click OK and let's also uninstall slideshow click uninstall OK and then for the future click edit and we're just gonna um, remove this line right here and I'm going to leave the products in here because we'll be using these later on inside the Journal 2 module. Let's just uh, click Save now. So now let's look at the front end of our store by clicking on the storefront right here. So this is what it looks like now. So if you look at the demo site, next let's go ahead and install this slider. Let's go to the back end click slider revolution and then click create new and here next to the module name we're going to change that to home underscore slider and then for the slider height change that to 500 now let's scroll down uh, under the navigation options uh, we'll come back to this section later let's go ahead and add the first image click add slide and next to the slide image, click right here. And let's create a folder called Re revolution underscore slider. Okay. Now I'm going to upload the three images. Click upload. And then if you go to the, um, the journal assets folder, inside there is a folder called slider. So let's go ahead and upload the first one. Bridge. Open. Okay, let's upload the second one. Okay, and then the last one. Okay, and let's uh, double click on the first image, bridge, to add the image. Uh, let's scroll down, add slide for the second image. Click add image. And then go back to that same folder, and then click double click on the second image. And then last one, add slide. And then next to slide image, click on the add image. And then let's click the last one. Double click on it. Let's click save and add this to layout. For the layout, home, position, content top. And click save. And let's go to the storefront we'll see the uh, the slide images here but there's a problem as you can see it doesn't extend all the way to the left and right uh, because if you go back to the back end and go back to slider revolution uh, we select that content top right here it should be top and click save and then click edit here there's one other place we gotta change here make sure on the top bottom settings the full width is on. Click Save. Now when we go back to the front end and hit Refresh, you can see the slider extended.
Now if we compare this to the demo site, uh, you notice that this one has thumbnails right here and here on our website we have the bullet points. To change that, let's go back to the back end and uh, under the navigation options here you will see that navigation type is bullet. Let's change that to image. Other than that, let's change the uh, thumb dimensions from 100 by 75 to 100 by 50. Now if we click save and then go back to the front end, hit refresh, we should see those images pop up right here. So now we're going to install the headline rotator that you see here. To do that, go to the back end and then click headline rotator, click create new, and then next to the font, click edit. And then we're going to use the system and then change the font size to 32. And then we're going to make it bold and change the color to white and then click OK. For the top bottom position settings, uh, next to the background, click Edit. And then we're going to pick this color over here. The values for that is 51, 55, 69 for the RGB. Click OK. And what that will do is if you look at the, uh, the demo store, it will add this background color right here. And then uh, next is let's add the item. Uh, next to the headline text, let's type in headline rotator with call to action buttons. And then that will add this text over here. Now let's add the call to action button. Turn it on. And the name of the, the button is shop now. And then for the button icon, click edit, click icon, and let's click this arrow over here and change the color to white and the size to around 20. Click OK. If you go back to the demo page, it will add this arrow right here. And uh, let's change the link to a product. And then I'm just going to type in iPhone or whatever product you have, you can just enter it here. And then let's position the button to the right and then click save. And we have to add this to the layout. So click add to layout. For the layout, uh, choose home and position top and then press save. Now if we go back to the front end and click refresh, we'll see this headline rotator right here. Now, what if you want to change the color of this button over here? To do that, uh, you actually have to go to Settings, Modules, and then Headline Rotator. Here, um, you can change the, uh, the background color. So let's do that. Change to this color right here, blue. And then the background hover color, change that to let's say this color over here, uh, green, and click Save. Now if you go back to the front end, hit Refresh, it's blue, and then when I do a mouse over, it changes to green. We're going to add this carousel here. To do that, go to the back end, and then select Carousel, click Create New, and then click the uh, General Options, and then here we're going to choose product for the module type because uh, these are products in here. We're going to do an autoplay and then let's click the uh, add tab. Here uh, let's call the first one featured. Section type is module, module type is featured because uh, that's what we want for the first one. Item limit, just leave it at 5. Click Save. And then we want to add this to the layout. 
for the layout, uh, choose home, position, content top, and click save. Now when we go to the front end, hit refresh, we should see that section in here. Now we have uh, four products in here. Uh, let's say that you only want three products to show. To do that, go back to the back end, uh, click edit, and then where it says here items per row, click edit. It says here for large desktop and desktop, it's, uh, it's got four in here. Let's change that to three. Click OK. Click save. Go back to the front end and hit refresh. Now you only see three items here. Now if you're wondering where we got these products in here, uh, if you remember earlier in the back end uh, under the extensions modules, and if you go to the featured and click edit, we left these uh, products in here. So basically the items, you, products that you see in here is whatever is listed in here. So if you want to add or delete items, you can type the product name in here to add, to delete, uh, just click this minus button. We're going to add this side category right here that you see. To do that, let's go back to the back end, click side category, click create new, click the general options here, and then let's give this one a title just like here where it says multi-level categories. Let's call it multi-level categories. And then I'm going to turn the default categories on just to populate it with something. And click save. And now we've got to add this to the layout. Don't forget. Choose layout. We're going to choose home. And then put the position. Choose column left. And click save. Now if you go back to our front end, hit refresh, you will see that multi-level categories come up here. Now if you look here, they also added one more item called uh, custom items. To do that, go back to the side category and then click edit. And then where it says here add menu item, click on that. And let's call this one custom items. And then for the position, uh, we want to pick bottom. And then the, the link, let's pick wish list and then click save. And if you go back to the front end again, hit refresh, you should see the custom items show up here that links to the wish list page. Now if you want more items here, all you need to do is go back here and click add more. In this part, we're going to add the text rotator. That is, if you look at the demo page, it is this testimonial page on the side. To do that, go to the back end and then click the text rotator, click create new and then let's add item on the bottom here and then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy and paste the text from here just copy random text here and paste it in here and then for the author name let's call this one happy customer just like you see in here for this image, uh, let's upload that image here. Add image, and then click upload. Go to the journal assets here, and then you'll see a folder called testimonial. And then let's upload that avatar. Click open. OK. And double click on that image. And then let's click save. And then go back to the front end. Ah, oh, sorry, before you do that, you have to add to the layout. Choose layout, home. And then for the position, we're going to pick column left. And then click save. Now if you go to back to the front end, hit refresh, you will see that testimonial page come up. Now if you look at the demo, uh, if you want to make it the, the text on the bottom here bold, all you need to do is go back to the back end, hit edit, and then you will see the author font here. Click edit, go to system, and let's change this to bold and then click OK save go back to the front end hit refresh and you'll see that change to bold 
Now let's say that uh, for some reason you want you want this part to come up above the uh, the multi level categories. To do that, you have to assign the sort order number. So just as a quick example, let's do that. Go back to the back end and then click text rotator. And then for the sort order here, we want it to be one. Okay, click save. And then for this multi level category section here. Go back to the front uh, back in and then click side category. And then for the sort order, let's enter number two because we want this to be below the other one. So click save. Go back to the front end, hit refresh, and now you can see page comes up at the top here. Now we're going to add these three banners here. Uh, let's go back to the back end. Click Banners, Create New, add uh, the first banner here, click Add Image, and let's create a new folder in here called Banners. Click Submit, OK, and then go inside that Banners folder and let's upload the three images. So if you go back to the uh, Journal Assets, uh, there's a folder called Banners in here. So let's click banner number one, open. Okay, let's go to the second one, open. Let's go and upload the third image here. Double click on it, click OK. We have uploaded the three images. Let's click the double click on the first one to add. For the link, I'm just going to leave it blank, but you can uh, link to a product page if you want. Let's add the second banner, so click the Add Banner, click Add Image, and then let's go back to the Banners folder, double click on the second image, okay, and then Add Banner, Add Image, and then let's uh, double click on the last one, and then click Save. Now let's add this to the layout. Choose layout, home, position, content bottom. Okay, and then click save. Now if we go back to the front end, hit refresh, you will see those three banners here now. In this part of the video, I'll show you how to create the custom sections, which is this dark gray area you see here the five different tabs I'll probably do just a couple of tabs as a test for now to do that go to the back end and then click the uh, custom sections and then click create new um, we're gonna leave the everything as is for now select add section and let's call this one specials and then for the section type, we leave it at module. And the module type, let's select specials. And let's save that. Add another section. Let's call this one desktops. And then for the section type, let's select category. And for the category, uh, let's select the desktop. And then let's click save again. And then let's let add this to the layout and choose home for the position let's uh, choose bottom click save go to the front end and hit refresh now we see the five products shown here the custom section let's say that i want to just see five products in one row how do i do that I'll go back to the back end and then go to the custom sections again hit edit and here under the general options, there's items per row. Click edit. And then for the large desktop and desktop, let's change that to five. Click OK. And click save again. Now when we go back to the front end, hit refresh, we'll see the five products in one row. Now another thing I want to do is I want to see just the specials tab shown first every time you hit refresh right because right now it's not doing that uh, to do that go back to the back end and scroll down 
to where it says specials and you see where it says default section is turned off turn that on click save now every time I come to the store and hit refresh the specials tab automatic automatically gets selected uh, and one more thing I want to do is change the the background color here just for the custom section to do that uh, let's go back while you're still inside the custom sections under the top bottom settings there's the background click edit and for the color let's pick something dark gray click OK hit save again go back to the front end hit refresh and you can see the background color change For this part, we'll be creating the photo gallery right here. So let's go to the back end. And there's a photo gallery right here on, the le on your left. And then click Create New. And let's add the image. Uh, click on Add Image. And let's create a new photo called Photo Gallery. Click Submit. Okay. And let's go inside the photo gallery. Click Upload. And if you go back to the journal assets, there's photo gallery folder. And I'm just going to pick the first one. Click OK. OK. And I'm just going to pause the video here for a minute, upload everything, and then I'll come back. Okay. Um, as you can see, I have uploaded and added all the images. I have a total of eight images here. Uh, let's go ahead and click Save. Let's add this to layout. Let's choose Home. And then for the position, bottom, click Save. Go back to the front end, hit Refresh. You can see the, uh, the gallery here is shown, but we want to change the number of items to be shown per row, I want to say 8. So go to the back end, click edit here, and then where it says items per row, click edit, and let's change that to 8 for the large desktop and then desktop, click OK, click save, go to the front end, hit refresh, and now you can see the 8 photos in one row here. Uh, let's make some other changes. You can see, compare this to the, the demo, demo is much bigger in terms of size because we have to do one other thing for that and that is to go back to the photo gallery and click edit and then under the top bottom settings for full width module you have to turn that on. Click save, go back to the front end, hit refresh, you can see the photo is big. Uh, next thing I want to do is make these round edges because right now it's just kind of sharp to do that let's go back to the back end and then under the image border settings click edit and next to the radius uh, for under, under the all let's change that to 10 pixels click OK save Go to the front end, hit refresh. You can see the rounded corners here. Next, let's go ahead and add the text redesign photo gallery module. To do that, you have to go to the headline rotator. And let's create new. And then under the uh, add item, click on that. And then the headline text, let's type in read the signed photo gallery module and click save next thing I want to do is change the size of the font and let's go to system and then change the size to like uh, 32 and then the font variant let's change that to bold and then the color let's pick something like this dark gray click OK save and let's add this to the layout for the choose layout home position 
bottom and click save. Now when we go to the front end, hit refresh. We can see the title shown here. Um, I, obviously I want to center this title. So go to the back end, click edit. And then for the text align under the general options, click center, save, go to the front end, hit refresh. And we can see the text centered. Now if you notice the, the backgrounds, they're touching each other because we have to give some margin between. So, so we have to go back to this uh, custom section area. So let's do that. Go to the back end, custom sections, click edit. And under the top bottom settings, there's margin here for top and bottom. So since we are inside the, uh, really looking at the custom sections area here, we want to give some space to the bottom here. So let's give it about 20 and then click save. Go back to the front end, hit refresh, and you can see we have some space in between. And we can do the same thing to the, uh, the photo gallery module here. Let's say that I want some more space at the bottom here. To do that, let's go to the photo gallery, click edit. Under the top bottom settings, margin bottom let's give it about uh, 10 save go back to the front end hit refresh and we have a little more space here at the bottom so let's go ahead and add image to the the main menu here so as you can see from the demo uh, we have this thumbnails here to add that, let's just say we want it for the uh, components, monitors, and we want a thumbnail right in here, right? To do that, go to the back end, go to menus, main menu, and if you scroll down to uh, components, uh, we want to change the category menu type to mega menu, and then where it says show, links and image, click both. And that should be the default setting actually. And click save. Now when we go back to the front end, head refresh. Uh, we don't see an image yet because we have to add this to the category. To do that, we have to go to the catalog categories. And we want to add the thumbnail to the monitors here. Components monitors. Click edit. And then go to the data tab. And then where it says image here, click browse. And then let's just pick the monitor here. Double click on it, click save. And then now when we go to the front end, hit refresh, the image is still not shown in here, right? So we have to do one more other thing, which is to go to journal two and then click clear cache. Now when we go back to the front end, hit refresh, we should be able to see that thumbnail showing up in here. To add this icons at the top, uh, let's go to the back end and then go to menus, top menu, and then uh, under the home and next to the icon, click edit, click the icon, and let's pick the home icon and click OK and save. Now when we go to our front end and hit refresh and you see the home icon shown here and obviously you can uh, change the other ones as well here. Next let's go ahead and change the footer. So if you look at the demo we have this custom footer right so let's go ahead and add that Let's go to the back end and then select footer menu and then under the row one we see we have four columns here. So if we go to the front end this will be column one, two, three, four and we want to add one more in here which is this uh, custom footer. So to do that let's add another column 
add column and then for the title let's give it custom footer and then we have to add menu item and then for next to name override click on and then we'll type in the phone number here 888-888-8888 and then let's give it an icon icon let's pick the uh, phone icon here click OK save go to the front end hit refresh you'll see the uh, the custom footer now let's say that I want to I want this at the front here uh, to do that you have to change the order so for the column 5 next to sort order let's give this sort order number 1 and click save so that it comes all the way to the front as you can see right here next uh, we're going to add these icons here to do that let's uh, un uncollapse this and then add another row and then we're gonna row type change that to contacts and then add a contact and then click uh, edit next to the icon click the icon and let's select the Skype icon okay and then select OK save and let's go and check the front end here click refresh we see the Skype icon shown in here let's go ahead and add one more row like the demo side here it's got three columns here on the bottom to do that uh, let's go back let's uncollapse row 2 and then click add row and then row type we'll leave it at columns and then add a column and then for the column type click HTML and then next to text click English and let's just copy and paste the first column here copy that go back and paste it in here okay click Save let's take a look you can see the text here let's go ahead and hit the second one uncollapse the column 1 and add column change that to HTML English and let's go ahead and copy and paste the second column copy that paste it in here, uncollapse column 2 and add the last column here and pick HTML again and then let's copy and paste the last one and click save go to the front end, hit refresh and we can see those three columns in here but if you notice it's not centered like we see it on the demo side here and that's because if you go to the back end and click under the row 3 next to the items per row click edit it's got 4 next to it so it's basically expecting 4 columns in here that's why you see a dead space at the on the right side here to fix that all you have to do is change the 4 to a 3 click OK save go to the front end hit refresh and now you can see the three columns centered. Now let's add the credit card icons and the copyright text here. To do that, let's go to the footer, payments, and add payment, and then click payment number one, add image, and then let's create a new folder called credit card icons submit okay go inside that folder and then click upload and then if you go back to the journal assets folder uh, there's the credit cards icons and then I select visa open okay and upload amex ax open okay and I'll just to do a uh, two for now. Let's click the Amex, double click on it, and then add uh, another payment. 
and then for payment number two add image and then let's go ahead and click the uh, visa and then click save now when we go to the front end hit refresh we can see those two icons shown here and uh, next thing is uh, the copyright right so I'm just gonna copy and paste this copyright here and then paste it in here click save and go to the front end hit refresh now I can see the, the copyright and the store uh, credit card logos the last thing I want to do is uh, change this open cart logo so to do that we have to go to system settings click edit and then under the uh, and then go to the image tab where it says store logo click browse click upload and then go back to that journal assets folder and then I have the journal logo click open okay double click on that logo click save go to the store front end and hit refresh and then you can see the logo there so that's pretty much it guys um, if you enjoyed this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and also visit my website buildingmyecommerce.com and if you have any requests for me to do a video please let me know Thanks.